Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing a chi-square test uh, for goodness of fit with a normal distribution. Okay, so here we have Phil believes that the lengths of pebbles have a standard deviation of, or a normal distribution of 6.2 and 2.4 standard deviation. Okay, this distribution. Here are the observed frequencies what he actually recorded. And here are the expected frequencies. Okay. Uh, so these are what we expect if we have a normal distribution like this. All right. And these are simply getting the probabilities and multiplying by the number in the sample, which is 150. Okay. Uh, so most of it's done for you. I'm going to finish the last two so we can get normal probabilities in our calculator. So if I go to simply go to uh, the toolbox, probability, use cumulative for these normal probabilities. And we want between 8 and 10. So we type in the, the mean, standard deviation, 8 and 10. So you put all that in, click enter. That's the probability of a pebble being be between 8 and 10 centimeters. So to get the expected value, we multiply by 150. Okay, and we press enter. So that's 25.5. Uh, by the way, we probably should get the expected values rather than using the probabilities for our test because on the HP Prime, if your probabilities don't add up to one, then it's an error. And we have to round our normal distribution probabilities. Okay, and the last one is greater than 10. So I can click on this again. Greater than 10 means I go 10 comma infinity, or really large. And you get this probability times 150 gives you the expected value of 8.5. Okay, So we need the expected values for the test, and our test starts now. Uh, we're going to do the null hypothesis, is that um, pebble lengths, lengths, satisfy satisfy the distribution in 6.2 comma 2.4 squared and each one is the opposite pebble lengths do not satisfy uh, blah 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 same thing but just sticking a do not Okay, and now let's do the test and come to the conclusion. Uh, we're going to do a 5% significance level test. The critical value is not given, so we will have to compare it to the, to the p-value. Okay, so let's do that on the calculator. I need to get my data here and we go on to apps, inference. We'll stick it on count and not probability, but count. Go to num. I will clear this and type in these numbers, 13, 25, 37, 43, 26, 6, and then the expected values are 6, 21, 43.1, 46, uh, 25.5, 8.5, 5. okay. Double check everything's in there correctly, and I think it's okay. Uh, we'll click calc, and we get these values. We get the degrees of freedom, p value, and the chi squared value, but we don't have the critical value, so we can't compare that. We need the p value. The p value is. Oops, the p value is 0 0.569 equals 0 0.569 which is greater than the significance level. And remember, if chi is high or p is low, we reject HO. This is not low. It's higher than the significance level. So we do not, do not have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, that means basically we accept the null hypothesis that um, the pebbles 
the pebbles do satisfy normal 6.2 comma 2.4 squares. They do follow that normal distribution. 